Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Tissue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Big Game number three. This is a new book from Image Comics over at Mila World. Uh, let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Mark Miller, with art by Pepe Ross, Giovanna Nero on colors, letters by Clem Robbins. Uh, so the as I talked about last uh, issue, the most unhinged, the craziest event of the summer uh, continues in issue three. Uh, so the fraternity is continuing to round up and just kill all the superheroes that you might have ever read that have been written by Mark Miller. So in this issue, Nemesis is murdering his way through all your favorite uh, Miller World characters. The Chrononauts are down, but now Kick-Ass, Hit-Girl, and Huck are in his sights. Will the Kingsman spy organization be able to stop him before he follows? Uh, the quick answer is no, but it is done in such a fantastic way that I don't even care. Uh, so I'm, I'm familiar with a lot of these properties, which I think is really enhancing the reading experience i've been reading a lot of miller's world um miller's books for a long time now and although i'm not familiar with every single character that shows up specifically some of the villains some of the villains are a little bit more obscure to me i think they're from the book magic order a few of the ones we see on this issue and that's probably why i'm not familiar with them i haven't i haven't read that series yet uh but it's something that's now on my list i think this is a, a perfect way to have a really fun summer event uh and also kind of like plug all the properties that you've been working on forever uh yeah mark miller and the team are leaving no stone no stone unturned when it comes to this book so let's uh get into it so we open up with beautiful pepe Laraz art i love pepe Laraz. i think his art is fantastic some of the the shots the dynamism he chooses to use some of the angles uh, you know, and if you haven't read Huck, I highly recommend that because that's where we open up. Huck is on a mission to deliver this little bear uh, back to his family. And this is when tragedy literally strikes. Uh, and, you know, Huck has always been one of the more like uh, simple and almost chill type of properties from Mark Miller. Uh, like it is, it is such a juxtaposition, and I kind of love the way this was laid out with uh, both panels, right? You know, the very cool tone of the first panel as Huck is just jumping around, uh, and then we have on the other side of the page the nuclear bomb hitting Huck and exploding everything. And of course, he's carrying a little cub, a uh, little polar bear cub, and that's also blown up. So, yeah, this book doesn't care who you are. Uh, you're going to get taken out. The fraternity is leaving everyone in the dust. And the same here in this uh, in this next few pages, we see Superior. That's a hero that I'm not very familiar with. It looks like it's um, this young man, or at least when he was younger, he turned into Superior or with some kind of deal with the devil, whatever, you know, comic book shenanigans. And I believe these two villains, just based on their power set, are probably from the magic order as they seem to be magic related i'm not sure let me know in the comments if you if you know and then the last preview page i'll show you we have some of the characters from nightclub if you're not reading nightclub go check it out also really fun uh so yeah and this is these are just the beginning pages like every page is full wall to wall of just like characters this world building and really messed up things that are happening all throughout uh i think this is one of the issues that finally brings a little bit of hope like after three issues of swimming in this like despair of the fraternity taking down every single uh possibility closing every door uh this issue feels like maybe the turning point but we could also be setting ourselves up for disappointment you never really know like I don't even I don't trust this issue. I don't trust this series anymore. Uh so highly, highly recommend this one. I've been really enjoying it. Like I said, I think if you're familiar with some of Mark Miller's work, you'll enjoy this even more. Uh, but the book is very good about letting you know what's going on, who's on the page. Uh, I'm not familiar with some of the newer stuff like the ambassadors, who were a big part of this. I've also never read Chrononauts, even though i I know about it. So yeah, like it's it's just stuff that has been on the surface. So 
really enjoyable to see some really neat uh back matter as well that's more related to the industry which was fun to see as well so highly highly recommend this one uh and let me know which cover you pick up we have a few different you know we have the main pepe la Rose cover we'll also a black and white version and we have an ambassador's cover on this one so if you have read this book let me know what you thought about it down in the comments as always thank you for watching everyone remember to share like subscribe hit the bell so you know when we go live that is most saturdays 10 a.m central standard time stay tuned we have more comic reviews trailer reactions tv recaps all that fun stuff in the channel thanks for watching everyone bye, -bye.